Objects in an Access Database An Access Database consists of tables, queries, forms, reports, macros and modules. Here's a brief description of them. In Access all data is stored in a table. A table will have unique column headings. These are otherwise known as fields. We assign a data type to a field. For example, a first name field would have a data type of text. A price would have a numeric data type. Tables can be created with a wizard or manually. Once created, you can then enter data into the table. Every time you add a row to the table, it will become a record. You can also define relationships between your tables. A query is used to get a view or to find data in your table. If, for example, you wanted to find all customers in London, you could set criteria in the query to give you this subset of data. You may also want to find which invoices are unpaid in your system and could use a query for this. You can link to other tables in the query and even perform sorts, summing of columns, grouping. You can create queries to select, update or modify data. It is also possible to create new tables based on data in a query. Forms are used to enter and display data from your tables. You can create subforms to hold repeating data. For example, you could have a main customer form and a subform that shows you all their sales. A form can have as its data source either a table or a query. A report is used to output data to the screen or printer. You can have sub-reports within a main report. A report can have as its data source either a table or a query. A macro can be used for performing a task such as opening a form, a report or moving to a record. Disadvantages, no error checking so if the macro fails you will get a general failure message and not something tailored. This is where you write programming code to control access and a knowledge of VBA is required. It's much better than using macros. It's a good idea to start off with macros before moving to VBA code.